Today I want to make a plaque to go on the front of my junk journal. So I've cut uh, myself a plaque shape with black card and I've cut the words that I want to go on the front of the plaque also out of black card and I've done it twice and glued two together to make it a bit more dimensional and I'm going to glue these onto the front of here with um, some PVA glue and make it a little bit twisted. I want to make this plaque look really old and grungy and rusty. So yes, the first thing I'm going to do is to glue these letters on. Make sure they've got plenty of glue because I don't want them falling off. I'm not being very careful with this. Actually I end up making quite a mess of it. <laughs> Dropped a couple of the letters and got glue everywhere but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be putting in some sand paste and uh, acrylic paint so it's going to cover all that up. So the next thing is to add some of the uh, sand paste. This is a texture gel and it's very sandy and um, you just want a little bit here and there. As you know when you look at rusty things they seem to have a bit of a like when the oxidization happens certain parts of it become bumpy and like the property of the metal seems to change a bit so I just want to put a bit of this around in different places to sort of replicate that You don't really need that much because you don't want it all over but it just really gives a good effect when it's dry. A bit too much in there. Let's take some of that out. Okay, I have to leave that to dry now. Right, now the next step is to cover all of that with some silver acrylic paint. Okay, I've got some ready brown, rusty coloured 
acrylic paint I've got some duck egg blue um, and here I've got some yellow and orange acrylic paint um, I'm going to mix those together with a little of this brown to make uh, just another sort of lighter rusty colour I think it needs a bit more yellow you don't need to buy these expensive products to make rust effects you can make your own yeah, that'll do great um, and then you just need to start dabbing this on in places where you want it to be rusty or look like it's more rusty Start off with this colour a bit. Rinse my brush. Let's have some of this darker. just a case really of adding to it until you've got it to look how you want it to be. If you see an old rusty piece of metal made up of lots of colours, it's not just one colour. I still want some of this silver to show through, but uh, Or do I? Yeah, I think I'll just leave a little bit there around the edge. Which always wipe off a little bit. wet the brush a bit and you can dab some of it off and there's no extra paint on there just water like that. I think I'll add a 
little bit of the duck egg. You don't need really very much. Just a little touch here and there. Some of these places where the sand paste is. Oh, quite like that. Put a little bit more of that dark over towards the edge here. And some of the bobbly bits. I think I'm happy with that. Just let it dry. So I went back in a bit and added a bit more of the colours and I decided to cover up all the silver um, and just play with it really until you get the kind of rusty look that you want. I'm very pleased actually with how it turned out. The only thing is now I've got a Stabilo All pencil and I just want to um, just go in by these letters to give it a bit of shadow because it looks too clean and usually when there's a raised surface you're going to get some kind of shadowing going on in there so I'm just going to add that quickly and then I think I'm going to call it done and uh, stick it on the front of my journal This um, Stabilo as well helps the letters to stand out a bit more and it would be darker on the inside gaps. You don't really need that much of it because it breaks down quite well once you add water to it. You don't really want it to look like just a line, so 
Yeah, it's got to look like dirt. So that's the reason why I'm smudging it with my fingers. I think that's going to be fine. 